Hello, 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 all of my fellow goblins. Barnacle back again for another episode of Baldur's Gate 3 with Barnacle and our misfit band of adventurers. Uh, we just finished off um, Sorcerer Sundries. We killed uh, Lorikin, which I think was the wizard that um, that tiefling sorcerer, whatever, from the Druid Grove was supposed to go study with. So that'd be interesting to find out what happened with that. Um, and then we are going to go and take Gale to see Mistra, I guess. I think that's where we're going to go to next. Uh, so let's get into it. So I think she's back here somewhere. Oh, right here. And soon the cycle will reach its zenith. Should you want it to? Or zenith? And then what happens? It's zenith. So I think we have to go in the front of this building. Apparently. What building is this? The Storm Shore Tabernacle. All right, enough. let's go see what happens in here. That was like this. It's been some time since I stood before her in a place like this. Greetings, child of faith. Be welcome to the Stormshore Tabernacle. You have come far, I perceive. How may I serve you this day? What can I do here? Here, clerics may commune with their gods, and even hear their responses, if they are so favored. I am also granted the power to provide holy resurrection through sales of revivification scrolls. Look at Gale. Look at how he's looking. Of course, my child. Within limits. Behold my wares. Another vendor. With uh, zero gold, so we can purchase, we just can't sell. Reviving Hands has Revivify as a spell. Uh, I don't think we need that. Um, Crusader's Mantle, I don't know, that doesn't really sound juicy. This gives us Radiant Damage. Don't see anything that's super exciting for us. She's using this hammer. 10 to 6, 10 to 26. Psychic damage, thunder damage, psychic damage, radiant damage. Tenacity, radiant strike. On a hit, inflict one turn of radiant orb upon the target. Sanctified weapon. Undead creatures struck by this weapon are possibly turned. Hmm, that could be good. Maybe. That's a plus two. Hmm. Same sort of stuff. Let's buy it. Because, you know, we don't have nothing else to do anyway. Your offer's been refused. Why? Oh, we didn't put the money in. Got it. Do we need to buy these? 16 to 40? Nice. Buy these in case we need them for some reason. I don't know. Let's buy them all. I mean, I think we are 
getting closer to the end of the game, but. Alright. We're good in here. But where's Mistra? She is over here. Oh, there's a door over there. Through here, maybe? This is outside. Oh, my son. Was she that statue that was in there? Maybe? Maybe I'm just an idiot. Was this Mr. Here? Alright. There she stands, just as Elminster promised. Mistra, goddess of the weave, mother of all magic. The old man wasn't lying. She's opened the summoning channel. Can't you feel it? Gail's right. The very air around the statue crackles with magic. It sets your teeth on edge. A stream of pure, undiluted weave. I only have to reach out, and it will carry me to Mistra, wherever she may be. Well, go on then. It's rude to keep a goddess waiting. Right? Time was, I'd have given my right arm for a chance to speak with Mr. again. <laughs> the left one, too. Maybe a knee. Am I? You're right. I am a strong, capable wizard. And this is no more than a casual reunion with an ex-lover. My omnipotent... Omniscient ex lover. I always wonder what being nervous would feel like. I hate it. Oh, that hardly matters. There's not much further I could fall in Mistress' estimation. But I'd like to at least leave her with something to think about. During my time locked away in Waterdeep, I prepared a quite comprehensive speech for her on the subject of our former relationship and the manner in which it ended. Alas, recent events have rendered the majority of it moot, so I'm going to have to improvise. Unless you have any words of wisdom to impart before I go. Right. A heartfelt apology is the surest way to a goddess's heart and her favor. I pray that she'll be in a forgiving mood. If she weren't the one I'd be praying to. I'll only be gone for a matter of moments. The outer planes experience time quite differently to our own. Wait for me. Please. Gail, here she is. Gail of Waterdeep. You look well. Mistra. I never thought we'd speak again like this. Why am I here? There is much unsaid between us. But time runs ever short. You discovered what lies at the heart of the Absolute. The Crown of Causes. And you disobeyed my instruction. Why? I didn't want to die. And when I saw the crown, I thought I might not have to, if I only understood its power. And you believe you have the right to such an understanding? The past cannot be undone with self-pity, nor can a future be forged. Only with the truth will you see the way ahead. The fragment of magic you tried to return to me was not of my creation. It was the Carsite Weave. It is a corrupted, half-born magic, wrought in the brief moment Cassus ascended to godhood. It hungers for power, just as he did, 
And it can never be sated. You unleashed something that would consume all magic in existence. And yet you thought only of preserving yourself. That can't be. It wasn't. It couldn't have been. I only wish to prove myself worthy. I had no idea. You were already worthy. What you lacked was patience, and it cost you dearly. When the Carsite Weave entered your body, your gifts were the first thing it consumed. The only reason the orb sleeps is because I have allowed it to feed on the true weave, a temporary measure but one that will not be enough to save us. With each day that passes, the Elder Brain threatens to become a new kind of god, its worshippers a scourge of soulless illithids. If you will not use the orb to end this abomination, then you must find a way to separate crown and host. When you've done this, you must surrender the crown of Carsus to me. I won't let you down again. When the Absolute is vanquished, I will surrender Carsus's powers to you. You have my word. Thank you. May the Weave's light guide your purpose, and its wisdom guide your hand. The future of magic rests on your shoulders, Gale of Waterdeep. I promise you, it is a burden you are strong enough to bear. That wasn't very eventful. <clears throat> Uh, that's it. Oh no. I've got a Your long road ahead. <sighs> Back on mortal soil once more. I can't believe I saw him. After all this time. She gave us the secret of the orb's power. I call that extremely useful knowledge to have. The Carsite Weave. Within me this whole time. I knew the orb was no ordinary ball of magic before it to be Carsus's malignant creation. Gods! How did I not see that? Because you acted like an idiot. As always, I endeavor to be invigorated by your candor rather than eviscerated by it. Blunt as your summation is, it's correct. I dared to call myself an archmage while acting the apprentice. The hallmarks of a most excellent idiot, unfortunately. At least now I'm armed with the truth and Mistress' expectations. Once I bring the crown of castes to her, I can put everything right. The orb, too. I'll be myself again, for all that's worth. When you can have immortality. Uh. And then I am. Um, I don't know. It's been so long since I dared to imagine an end to the orb's hunger. But I start thinking about it, hadn't I? Imagine being able to picture one's life ending in something other than a cataclysmic explosion. What a treat. If I can promise you one thing in return for your faith in me, it's this. I will use everything in my power to ensure we defeat this evil. I will not let you down. Now, I believe we have a date with an elder brain to get to. Alrighty. Shall we? All right, so what else do we have? Uh, confront the elder brain. We'll get to that. 
Uh, Gortash's Netherstone. Orin's Netherstone. Gather your allies. We killed her? I don't remember killing her. When did we kill her? I thought she was in camp the last time we went to camp. Uh, something shady there. Hmm. I'm a little bit perplexed with this business here. Free Orpheus. Oh, this urge. What was the guy? Help Kithrick Voss. We can do the Duke. Help the Iron Hands. Deal with the gnomes. We're not going to do that. Oh, yeah, we can go do Cazador. Let's do that. Where's that one at? Murder, Free Orpheus. Let's go here. Oops. Where are we at? We're up here. Well, we can go this way. I guess let's try all of that. Pave my path with corpses. Build my castle with bones. Only Lord Gortash can protect us. In the El Song Tavern? Okay. Pardon me, sir. You look prosperous. I'll bet you have someone who'd like a nice piece of jewelry at discount price for for a good cause. Escape. Escape from Baldur's Gate for my husband and me. Lord Gortash wants. Uh. Alright, so she's like, there's a smuggler's loop leaving the water deep in two bursts. She needs some money to leave. Here's 200 for your troubles. I don't know what to say. Except got, thank you. We got some extra gold. Thank you here. so much. All right. Um. I wonder if this was proof of my barley. Who do I need to talk to in here? There's so many people. Page, middle, not patrons. Who's this? Guy? Seems like a good moment to talk. You look as out of place here as I feel. <clears throat> What say you? Should I have another? You'll need to preserve me. I need the courage. No, sir. We abandoned our farm when the absolute army marched in. We used to sell our barley to the brewer who makes this very beer. That's all over now. I'm not so sure. What good can these farmer hands do in a city like this? Besides, I've got the others to think of. Families upstairs, exhausted. I'm Des Canshaw, with a wife, two kids, and another on the way. Oldest boy, Corson. He means well, but 
Yeats as much as the rest of us put together. I have to find him a place here. Ah, oh, we're farmers, not fighters. That's not the answer for us. Oldest boy, Corson. He means well, but ye you already said fancy that. <laughs> fella called Three Piece wants to place him as a cleaner in the counting house. But I don't trust him. Maybe I should just join the Flaming Fist and take the signing bonus. What else can I do? Ah, oh, that's a solid tip. Could work out for a gentle kid like Corson. Thanks, stranger. You helped settle my mind. Thanks are all I have to offer, though. Mail me to bleed for you. Okay. Um, let's see, where? I wonder if this was bleed for my bar. What's in here? Missing. Oh, can't grasp it. Shite. Who are all these people? That guy's on the stage. Just talking. Hey, smart him. stuff. I'm Willoughby, the comedian. And we got a little contest here called the Laugh Riot. You wanna play along? Uh, no. Great. I'll go first to show you how it's done, and then you can see if you can top me. Hello, Bulldarians. You know, I wouldn't be here tonight, except my wife ran off with a cambium. That's right. I got fiend zoned. <laughs> we used to have a drow comedian. I had to ask her to stop casting Tasha's hideous laughter on the audience. Then I asked her how many drow it takes to light a torch, and she said, none. We have dark vision. So I killed her. The elf song patrons think that one's funny. There may be hope for you yet. Your turn, smart stuff. Knock them dead. But not literally. Got me? If that's the best you got, smart stuff, you should quit before the crowd gets angry. Hmm. Oh, I love this one. That's funny. Let's do that one. Whoa, hang on. This should be against the rules. Joke about religion, smart stuff. That one was funny. A single person applauds from the back of the room, probably out of pity. Sorry, smart stuff. No joy for you, I'm afraid. But that sounds like job security for me. Funny. All right. Can we go upstairs? What's the problem here? These guys going to stop us? Hold up, citizen. This is a crime scene. No admittance. The Vela's finished her report. We can let them pass. The Vela. Forgot about that. Stillman's Parlor. A place to receive clients and informants. I wonder if it's as I remember it. I wonder if any of these rooms are available to rent. Oh, bollocks! I told 
told those idiots not to let anyone through? You. Name, rank, and reason for interrupting an active crime scene. For your sake, the last one better be bloody good. To fetch her another bottle of mead, no doubt. Yes, I'm Devella, the unfortunate colleague. Unless you've got useful information, leave me to my work. Duke Stalmain's dead, and I've got to find who killed her. God, that's it. Proof that I was right. I've been working on an assignment, see? A research project of sorts. I knew my conclusions were sound. But this... I never expected this. I'll tell you what I know. A century ago, there was a man. Saravok Anchev. He was a child of the god of murder, Baal. He ruled the Iron Throne. A dark tower hiding a darker secret. It was the front for a deadly arms dealing network. There, Saravok amassed an army and sought to become a god. Under his stewardship, the Baal temple was revived. And with it, the Baal cult itself. Fortunately, the temple was destroyed. And to cleanse the city of Saravok's memory, the Iron Throne was torn from its foundations and cast into the Chionthal. For most, that was the end of it. But cults like that don't disappear overnight. That list you spoke of confirms I'm right. The Baal cult is back. And someone is out there, continuing Saravok's work. God save us all if you're right. <clears throat> but I believe it. Whoever it is, they're intimately familiar with Saravok's work. The brutality of the killings is on a par with Saravok's own. But there's something more here. Something new. There's a reference to these murders. A certain flair. It's as if they were done in worship. The precision of the cuts. The depth, the execution. The best butchers in Room couldn't make a cut like that. Trust me, I've asked them. I tried to explain all this to my superiors, but they wouldn't have any of it. They told me to drop it. Told me the city doesn't need another conspiracy theorist and to get back to doing my job before they find someone else to do it for me. But you... You're not bound by such constraints. Help me out here. Help the city out. I bet if you follow the trail of these murders, you will be able to unearth the truth of this resurgence. There are patriarchs on the murder target list. I'm oath-bound to secure them first, so I'll be heading to the upper city next. While I'm there, the other potential victims will be at risk. Could you warn them? Not from round here, are you? We're in Boulder's Gate. This is just how things work. Thank you. That's all I can ask, and more than I hoped. Once I'm done with the Patriarchs, I'll head to Basilisk Gate to have another go at convincing my superiors to put some resources into this matter. Meet me there if you've anything more to report. And good luck. All right, so Iron Ladder.
That's curious. Okay. A web grenade. Something good here. I hope. No, uh, not really. Let's see. All right, so we couldn't exactly go in there. Watch your face left. <laughs> That was funny. Me Chan is a kid. Okay. I've had better days and worse ones. What was the perception? Still me, even after everything. <sighs> Shadowheart found something, but don't see anything. Oh, well. these things have stayed interesting. And then we can't go in here. I wonder if any of these rooms are available to rent. And Reaver. Damn rats. Oi, you! I thought I asked you to clean the rats out of this cellar yesterday already. Hop to it! Get in there! No, I need them rats taken care of. Here's got the a deal. battle axe. I'll keep a lookout for murderers. You murder the rats. Okay, what about you, drunk cat? Say, I guess. <laughs> the cellars are just down the stairs. There, you'll find my old lodgings. Look at all the rats. What's the gun? Going. Unleash me. Rats. We gotta kill the rats. I need like burning hands. That's what I need. Cone of cold. Something that does. 
and parry and damage. Is this another fire barrel? I guess we can throw a fire barrel. Alright, now we're out. Now we gotta take on all the little five hit point rats. Oh, or they just burn up in the fire, I guess. <laughs> it's just like I like to just have something that was a uh, like AOE type spell or something. Oh, breath. <laughs> Sorry, Starian, you're just standing in the way. Oh, which one's still alive? Oh, this one? You're still alive? You're getting close. The wine cellar. There's a hidden door that leads further in. The mechanism to open it is somewhere among the wine racks. Okay. Best be on my way. of use. Curse to put my hands on everything. Good. On the other side, you'll find a passageway known only to those invited to do business. Might be worth a look. Go through the barrel, that's pretty cool. What a pleasant surprise. Here you are, as brazen as described. The gloomed soul who thieved from our queen. Of course you had help, didn't you? From the illithid you carry inside the astral prism. How quaint that we should meet here, in the very place that it once called home. We know all about the Emperor and its dealings with you. Though I must confess, its peculiar relationship with you threw us off course for a while. Tell me, 
What did it offer you in exchange for your servitude? And you would trust an Elithid to do such a thing? You have fallen prey to its manipulation. Your story ends here. We will reclaim the astral prism, purge it of the Elithid interloper, and restore it to our queen. What are you doing? My dear child, I already know all there is to know. I will liberate you from your puppet master, Shamar Zala Blackith! Sounds like fun. Sorcery. Zero. Missed. <laughs> Far away. Where is he? Over there. On my way. Don't 
Survival is all that matters. Really? How is that even a thing? You can't even shoot a spell? It's so annoying. Whatever. No, no, there it is. I won't give in. I think I'd rather you be over here. No? How's this area too far now? I mean, you're right here. Why would I not be able to go up there? Need to find a way forward. Doesn't make any sense. Oh, this is so stupid. What is wrong with me now? Am I still reduced? What is the deal? Blindness? So fucking So stupid. So weird. But I can do that shit. Like it doesn't make any freaking sense. None will be right. Yeah, oh. you seriously oh. after that. Not yet. You just take every single bullet. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Need everyone alive and fighting.
The dogs are going crazy. All right, let's see. Um, what are we doing here? Got to focus. Can't stand the camera thing too. It's like, ugh. Uh, who's got the next highest amount of health? Twenty-four, thirty-seven. Can we do another guiding? Can you reach this one? Eighteen. Oh, close enough. Creator, destroyer. I think Ruby jumped. Pawn to Cleric 4. No choice but to keep going. The ready. Step quick. Got to press on. Swift as my feet can carry me.
to move. The dance macabre. Be quick. Step by step. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Another day, another fight. My end is relentless. You handled it well. Let us hope she exhausts her forces soon. Now search the room. There's a statue that conceals the way through. I'll reveal it to you. Have to keep going. Ah, oh, I need to rest. The sunset can't come quickly enough. Oh, like I can't even take that stuff? It's like, nope, you can't even take it. Uh, psionic movement. Flying boots. the leap. Yeah, you don't need those. So this is probably good. Oh. Oh, it's medium armor. Switch. Okay. Don't need those. Let's get gallon key. Get gallon key. Some plate armor. Uh, I wait. This is a little heavy. Oof. Statue. I feel like it would be this one. That's curious. What is curious? It seems Gale has made amends with Mistra. Good for him. Though. That's cute. My old home. Thank you. 
thank you for bringing me back. Look around. You'll find some of my things still intact. Perhaps even useful to you. A shell. A keepsake from my final voyage. Pinched in a moment of sentimentality. My old wardrobe. The home of all my disguises. We are what we appear to be, and so appearances matter. No traps, please. That's curious. I'm curious about it. Chains I use to bind my meals. Villains and lawbreakers. You see, I tried to exercise morality where I could. An old container for brains. Empty. Shame. It would have been nice to find one to sustain me. Recipe for fiddlehead soup. A favorite meal of mine. When I have need of meals like that. Kinds of crap down here. I don't know. It's not safe here. 
It's too late for me, but not for you. Run, as fast as your legs can carry you. What are you doing down here? Shapeshifter, or in the red. She sees me from our camp, bore me here to Baal's enclave. She, she slit my belly and filled her cup with my blood. A toast, she said, to her false god. She told me when her cup ran dry, she'd come for the rest of me. I think that's probably her. I'm done for. I will hold her off as long as I'm able. Run while you still can. Don't even think about fighting her. This foe is too powerful. It's probably Orin. You'd underestimate Orin the Red. The last mistake you'll ever make. Told you. So obvious. Look at it. Father's favorite, all lost and wandering. Have you forgotten the way home? <laughs> Should I set your lapdog to screaming? That could help you find the way. Blood-addled beloved, swaddled in sinews, thinks it can judge. Never struggled, no purpose, nannied by that grim gotten butler. You are the one who isn't capable. Gortash betrays us, bloodkin. He sets a leash to our slaughter, uses us to drive the herd towards his tin men's oppression. You must kill the tyrant, smear him across his rock-rotten halls, and pluck the netherstone from his carcass. Then we jewel a sweet slaughter king. The winner claims the stones. Baal's true chosen. The loser rots on his altar. Agree? And I will bring my assassins to heal. They watch you always, longing to spray the crimson from your veins. Refuse me, and you'll learn what happens to those who defy Baal's doctrine. So will your friend. So this was Orin's intention. A combat against a fellow scion of Baal. Witnessed by the Lord of Murder himself. Accept, and you must kill Gortash. Refuse, and your companion's life may be forfeit, as might your own. Orin's assassins will hunt you like prey for slaughter. You forget how father's blood clots our veins. It must be returned to him, seeped straight into his grim-born jaws. But first, first, you must make gut spill of the tyrant. Do not underestimate his steel watch. Seek their cradle in the lower city and skewer their skull meat. Make them rust and blood. Then you can gore the lordling again and again and again. But listen, listen close, bone killer. Come to my temple before you turn Gortash to Carrion, and I will ready your friend's corpse to greet you. <laughs> Baal is waiting, slaughter kin. Do not disappoint him. Here we go. Adam received backpack. Oh. 
over and cover it again. All right, so I don't know what the hell's out here, but that's a whole lot of toxic bullshit. Lovely day, this. For now. Well, that didn't do nothing. Okay. Lost in thought. Where did all this stuff come from? A random shield. I don't even know. Soul Breaker Greatsword. All right. Well, Half I think this is probably a good place to stop. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Uh, why am I? Let These me boots see. have seen everything. Oh my God! Like, oh, Cerebral Citadel armor. Good now. I guess there's nothing else I need to do in here. Is this a weapon? I'll give it a, a shot. Sword of the Emperor. My old sword. My first purchase as an adventurer. No use to me anymore. It's yours. If you want it. I find it, how, I find it hard to believe there would be any use to me either. 3 to 12 damage. No thanks. I'm good. Leave this chick. What's in here? What's hiding here? So Wish I had a bag of holding. No idea where Silver Key goes. All right, uh, we'll see what we're going to do next. I uh, have no idea. Continue on, probably go to the Steel Watch, I guess. I'm not really sure what we want to do next. But we need to do something next. So, what's our extra discussion? You kill the rats, yes? I heard commotion in the cellar. Good. Perfect. Here, you take this. And do not worry. Chef Revere's eyes will be kept most peeled for murderous knaves. Okay. Look at you. Just and we'll just go out here. And we will start the next uh, episode. Other gods truly this petty. 
in right here. All right, take care, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.